unmute and talk to us. Okay, Boami Benjamin. Benjamin Boami, are you there? Benjamin. I'm present, sir. You're welcome to this class. Then we have Josh. Yes, Josh. Josh. Josh is still setting up. Okay, Kasiri Deo, are you there? Kasiri Deo. Um, K. William Wilson, Wilson, are you there? K. Wilson. Wilson. Okay. Uh, Josh is around, Josh is around. What's the other name for Josh? Kawaida. Pardon? Kawaida. Tushave. Tushave, Ewaida, or both? <laughs> okay. You're welcome, Kasirio Deo. There? Kasirio Deo. Okay. Then there is someone yes. who Cassidy and Dale, you're there. Is that Cassidy and Dale? Yes, I'm around. You're welcome. Uh, we have. Uh, yes, I'm uh, getting you. All right, all right. Miss Solo Derek. Hello. Hello. Miss Solo Derek. Yes, Miss Solo Derek. Are you there? Miss Solo Derek. I don't want the bubbles on the door. Tell us the key, Wilson. Tell us the key. Okay. Miss Solo Derek. Yes, Miss Solo is still setting up. Mildred. Mildred. Good, Mildred is present. All right. Uh, Blade, someone called Blade, someone whose phone is called ZTD Blade. May I request to know your name? Okay, uh, please, you, you can even just raise up the hand just as Mildred did eh, to be good enough. Eh? All right. Mugumia Oswald, you're welcome to the class. Mugumia Oswald. All right. So um, as we await members to keep coming on board, they will join us as we progress. Uh, this is A-level mathematics. And I'm going to take you mm -hmm. through. A level senior six. In the CBV. Yes, senior five. Elijah. Oh. Are we there? Please uh, make sure we are in the right class. This is senior five mathematics. Please, they want to mute their microphones. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, here are some of the things I want us to learn or to help each other through. I request that uh, those whose microphones are on, please you mute them, you'll still hear my voice. I uh Casiria Deo good. That's okay. 
So I request that we mute our microphones as we progress so that we can avoid the echoes that may come in. So uh, we have this one hour lesson that we are going to, or that I'm going to take you through. And in senior five math, uh, some of us may have gone ahead, but others will be a good opportunity for us to revise through. So please, you can share, we can share the knowledge. We can uh, share these things with each other and uh, ask questions. And by asking, please, you just raise up your hand and uh, I'll be uh, there to listen to you and we shall listen to each other. So to start with, uh, there are several topics in our uh, level uh, as far as math is concerned. And I'm going to take us through uh, one of the topics. In senior five, it is a key topic and primary that we need as far as our A level uh, is concerned. Now, we are going to look at the sequence. I think all of us can be able to see here. All right, screen all of us. Akim Blessing, could you read for yes. us what we see? That unmute and read for us. Sequences and series. Thank you. So we are going to look at uh, sequences and series. And uh, as you've been introduced earlier, these lessons are brought to you by uh, a team of Edify. And Teachers Association of Uganda received this lesson. So the series and major things that we look at. Under the series and the sequences, there are two major things that we look at. Now, one of the things that is there, we have what we call the arithmetic progression. We also have the geometric progression. Now, how, just by show of hands, how many of us have gone through arithmetics progression and geometric progression? By show of hands. Okay, seems none of us has done so. All right. So we are going to look at these two items as far as the, the sequences and series are concerned. So when we talk about the arithmetic progression, we're going to start uh, in this lesson today, we are going to focus mostly on arithmetic progression. Uh, in most cases, it is abbreviated, abbreviated as AP. Most cases in our math language, we say AP. Then the geometric progression, we call it the GP. That is it, what we have. So arithmetic progression is where we are right now. Can I have one Benjamin? Could you read for us what you can see here? Benjamin? Yeah. Are you there? Thank you. Yeah, Mara. Yes, please read for us what you're Arithmetic see. progression. Arithmetic progression, yeah. in bracket AP, is a, is a sequence of numbers in order in which the difference of any two consecutive numbers is a constant value. Okay, so that is by definition. Now, we know very well know that in mathematics, we never ask what is this, what is the other, but usually we go direct the application a bit of it. Now, in our in our O-level math, 
we would always be given a series like for example you have they can write for you one uh comma two three four and so on and they tell you what is the next number in the sequence there now when you look at this automatically the next number will be five now how did you come to this five here is the issue this is what we looked at in our o level mathematics so whereby when you look at the difference between the two and then the one you would get a one then when you look at the difference between the three and the two you would see there is also one and also the difference between the four and the three you would see one so automatically you will know that the next one will be the five so now that is now the sequence we are looking at then we can also be given one three five okay, seven and then they tell us what's the next number in the sequence josh what would be what from your all level basics what's the next number in the sequence here josh 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 are you there yes what would be the next number here nine it would be nine nine how did you come to the nine we've been with the sequence of one three five and seven it's a addition of two two correct okay that's very correct so you are looking at the difference from one to three is two from three to five is also two so there are four the other one will also be that so that is those are the basics now in our a level we are looking at if the difference between these two now these numbers that are following is the same is constant okay mark this part it is if it is constant we call it an arithmetic progression so let's look at the next one here when we look at this, we are saying, remember we are looking at two constant. So when you look at this, uh, Mildred, uh, is Mildred there? What is the difference, the, 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 the value between these two, between one and negative four? What number is separating? The, what is the difference between one and negative four? Mildred? Mildred, we are not getting you. Yes. Yes. What is the what number? What's the difference between one and negative four? It's five. Five. That is one minus. Yes. What is the difference? Yes. You say the difference is what? Five. It is five, okay? Then between six and one? It's five. It's also five. Okay, then 11 and six? Five. It's also five. Then uh, 16 and 11? Five. It's five. So there are four, thank you very much. So therefore, when you see the differences are constant, so we say that now this one is an AP. It is an arithmetic progression. Okay. Let's take a look at it now. Let's take a look at this also. Um, let's take a look at this other one as well. Who can who can help us here by show of hands? Taking no common air. I don't know who is this. Who, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. PS037. Uh huh. What's the difference between five and three? Twenty twenty. Uh huh. What's the difference between five and three? Yes, 
Your hand is up. Okay, Mildred, take on. Yes, Mildred? Yes. Be between five and three? Two. It's two. All right, then nine and five? Four. It's four. Okay, then 15 and nine? 15 and nine, it's um, six. It is six. Okay, then 23 and 15? Eight. It is eight. So is it an AP or it is not an AP? From not our definition, AP. it is not an AP, correct. Okay, so class, as we are seeing, we are finding out, maybe someone might be wondering, how are we getting the five? We are saying, the first number here, we are subtracting it from the, the second one. So we are saying if this is if this is a one and this is a two, so we are saying a, a two minus a one, we are getting that difference. Then this one will be a three minus the a two and so on. So this is not an a b. It does not lie under the arithmetic progression, but this one is an arithmetic progression, correct? So as we have seen through, the difference between the two consecutive terms, we are subtracting the second one minus the first one, and we shall come to that. So you realize that our value was a constant. So when you get through, you realize that you will be having five, five throughout, as Mildred told us. Then when you come to this other side, we shall also see that the difference between the two is different. So once it is different, it is not an AP. While once it is the same constant value, it becomes an AP, okay? So each of, we are saying that each difference is five. In the first answer, okay? While in the second one, they are not, if they are different, therefore they are not an arithmetic progression. Let's get here as well. Um, let's get to Josh. From your working out there, when you look at this sequence here, I think let's let's work out and raise up the hand. We want to give us whether it is an AP or it is not, and you give us the reason as to why it is not. So can we work out that so first? Hey, Benjamin is already done. Please, Benjamin, from your look, what have you got? An arithmetic progression. Uh huh. Why? Because. It all has a difference of three, three. It all, it's having a difference of three, correct? Negative three, three. Negative three, okay? Yeah. Thank you. So, members, as we as you say, it is an AP, and we are saying it has a common difference of three. So, if they ask why is it an AP, it is because the common difference is constant. Okay, now we are here now. Let's continue with our second example. Now that we have, we've been working with the, this side we've been working with the one, two, three values, four values, five values, you can easily calculate that. But when it comes to so many values, okay, take an example. If for example, they ask for, and for, for the, this is the first term, we call this one the first term, A1. This is the second term, A2, A3, A4, A5, and so on. But if they ask for the 90th term, we may not go through and then work out one by one up to 90. There is what we call the nth term rule. Now the nth term rule helps us to develop a formula for finding out any number 
in a given sequence. Here there are two, you can easily find out the fifth one here. How about if they say we want the 15th one? We are not going to keep on writing up to 15, no. What we are going to do, we are going to develop a formula called the, the, the rule of the nth term. N mean any number in math, we, when we talk about N is any number that can be there, can follow that given rule. So how are we developing that formula? We are saying, when you look at this, we are saying the sequence is the, the, the sequence is the arithmetic with the first term. We have the first term is always labeled as a one. Every sequence has a first term. Now that first term is called a one. Take an example, our first example here. So mark your work. First term is a one, and we have given it as that. And the common difference is labeled by D. Okay, the common difference is labeled by D. Now, how do you get the D as we've been getting those differences between two values? The difference between nine and four, we said it is five. Between 14 and this, and nine is five. So literally, our D is always a common difference. Now, this D can only work for arithmetic progression. It does not work for those that are varying because it has to be a common difference. So to come up with the rule now, we are writing now, our general rule that we have here now is, A, A means that A, the nth term, this is the nth term. Remember they're telling us the rule for the nth term. If you want to find out the nth term, we say A1, we get the first term, okay? Get the first term plus N minus one. N is the, the nth term minus one in brackets D, and then the D is our difference. So if we are to work out something, any number, even if you want to get the hundreds, a thousand term of this given sequence, we simply write that given formula, and then we come up with our given term. Take an example like uh, we have here like for example we have here we need to get our 15th term so inside here what to get a1 is our first term which is 4 plus n n is the nth term which nth term is which nth term is 15 minus the one in brackets the 5 and the 5 is the difference and thereafter we do a substitution okay remember n is our any term the number the term that we want which is in the sequence here n we put it with 15. so when you look out work out that we shall come with out with 74 as the 15 term in our sequence okay so when you look at your sequence you keep on uh, working out from 19, you go to the fifth, fourth, until the 15th, you will come to the, to, you'll come to 74 as the 15th term. Now, in A level, we are looking at terms that are beyond. In our O level, we're looking at 10, only four, five, and so on. But here we are going to the, at one point, we are going to calculate the infinity ones, the infinity number of terms. Okay, so we are looking at how do you get these bulky terms as far as this is concerned. Now, let's take an example, just a quick one. Can we easily get, using this formula here that I've given, I've given you, using this formula here, could we be able to get the 40th term from our calculation there, where we are? Can we get the the 40th term in this series here. Let's let, let's let, let's work out the 40th term in that in that, that given sequence. As we as 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 we, I'm sure with math you have a you have a paper you have you have a book there you have a pen. 
And I uh, guess you have a calculator. Rest you. So can you try to find out the 40th? Uh -huh, we are working out, we are working out. And uh, uh, Hilda has just joined us, Guang Oscar. I hope you are, in, you are with us as well. Oguang Oscar, you're there. And Hilda. Okay, we are working out, we are working out, we are working out. All right, blessing has got the answer. Blessing. Yes, sir. What's the 40th term that you've got? 199. 100? 99. And 99. Can someone who has got something similar tell us? Hilda? Hilda, what have you got? Yes? Hilda, what have you got? Hilda. Oh, Shifa. What this have you Shifra. got? Yes, please. What have you got? Benjamin, what have you got? I've just joined class. All right. Benjamin, what have you got? Negative 52. Benjamin has got negative 52. Okay. We are comparing answers. Uh, who else has got another answer? Josh? Josh, what have you got? Josh, we are waiting for your answer. We are getting the 40th term. I've got um, um, 40. Josh has got 40. Okay. Uh, okay. Who else? Chimuri has just joined our class. Charles Ranga. Benjamin, uh, did you get an answer? Yes, Richard Jones. Charles. Richard Jones. Yes. I am a part of Edify. Okay. Um, Benjamin. Benjamin. All right. So let's analyze through these answers here. Okay. We have three answers here for the 40th term. We have three answers here. So uh, blessing gave us 199. Uh, another one go to us negative 40, 52, and then 40. Um, quickly, blessing, could you show us how you got that your answer? Blessing. Yes, please. Yes, could you from the formula here, could you give us how you got your answer? Okay. Uh, we are zero mm. on part, part end, we're getting the 40th. Down. Yes, yes. Then from our equation, the, the general rule we wrote down. Yes. It is from a n is equal to a1 plus 4n minus 1 in two brackets, then d. Yes. Then when we try to substitute for a1 uh, and for five and, and five for d. Hello. So a, what is a1? A1 is, is A1? My A1 is for it's the very A1 first is four. Uh huh. Correct. Four plus. Last. Open bracket. Uh huh. Yes. In minus one. Open bracket five. Hello. N minus one. Close bracket. Yes. Yes. Uh, then we simplify. 
Mm -hmm. When I simplify, I end up with negative one plus five n. Yes. Are uh, you done? Then I'll substitute in for n with 40 because they are asking for the 40th term. Oh. Yeah, when I substitute in the 40, apply times five. So that is. Then 200 minus one, that is 189. Plus five times 40 is 199. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Blessing. Benjamin, where could you have gone, or where could your answers no. could have differed from? It was like this. By the time you told us to look for the answer, my network was somehow unstable. So I went to be getting the oh, 50. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, so we've all come to 199. Okay. So, members, the, the, the point is we need to keep this formula in, in mind when we are working out so that we come up with a clear answer. So let's move on. We are to the second one. So in the second one, we also have a sequence that is there. Okay? We have our sequence, the one for this B here. Okay? We are here, we are to this B here. So one, what is our first term? Mildred, what's our first term? Yes. What is our 60. first term? The first term 60. is? It is 60. 60. What is our N? So A1 is 60. OK. Then N, what is our N? Our N is, yes. Our N is? 15. OK, 15, because we are getting the nth term, correct? Then our D? Our D is 8. What? Our D is? 8. Negative 8. 8? How are you it's getting negative. your 8? Yes. How are you getting your 8? 60 minus 52. Then 52 minus 44. No, no, it is the D is got from the A2 minus A1. Are you together? It is the A2 minus the A1, not A1 minus A2. So when you get A2 minus A1, what do you get? Negative. Mildred? Negative. Correct. Eight. Negative, eh? correct. Okay, so members, can we very fast get our um, our fifteenth value based on that our formula? Can we substitute in our formula and then we get our nth value? Let's substitute in our formula and then we get our nth value. Please, I, I request that this uh, we can even. Uh, write it somewhere. Those of us who are unable to maybe speak because of network, you can also type. We shall understand. Josh, we lost you. Um, please, uh, those, who, those of us who are listening, I may not put your name because you, 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 your names are not reflected. Eh? So I requested to reflect our names here. Someone who has got the answer? You just raise up the hand. Uh, just a supplement. Yes, please. Um, I, I'm lost. Oh, where did we leave you at? How to to apply the question into this formula? Oh, how to apply the question into this formula? 
So let me start actually from this second question, okay? Write the rule for the nth term of the sequence, then find the 15th term. We are saying the our rule is this, a n, n is the nth term equals to the first term plus, open your brackets, n is that given term that you're looking for, okay? The nth term minus one in brackets d. D is the common difference, okay? Between those terms. Remember, we started by looking at those terms, the sequences between the two. Between nine and four, we said it is five. Between 15, 14 and nine is five like that. So that becomes our difference. So what we do, like for example, in here, when we look at this, we have said our first term is 60, okay? Our common difference is the 50 minus the 60, which is eight. So the rule, the rule that we are writing, this is now the rule, okay? This is our rule. And we are using this rule to come up with the 15th term. So the 15th term is replaced here with, with the n. From n, you replace it with 15. So we shall say in our substitution, when you substitute, we are substituting 60 for a1 and negative eight for d. This is what we are getting. This is how we are coming to this. So when you continue working it out, simplifying it out, we will come to this, okay? The 68 minus the 3n, sorry, the 8n. Now, substitute this with your nth term, which is 15. Where there is n, you put the term that you are looking for, which is 15. So when you substitute this, we will come up with that given answer. So this is just to follow up with what we looked at in the previous, in the previous slide. So with our 15th term, we basically have that 15 times the eight sub, being subtracted from the 68. And then we shall come up with that. I don't know whether Josh, that is clear now. Josh, and maybe people who have just come on, Yes. Okay, and it is now okay. Also, it's my first time, but I've got it. Okay, thank you. Good. So that is how the reason as to why we are looking at the arithmetic progression is to be able to get something ahead, like, like you're calculating a very, very big different number that is far away, but you want to get to it without getting through these small, small numbers. So like you're jumping from one, two, three, eight. And you're jumping to 50. How do we come to that 50 directly? So that's how, that, that's our sequence. Okay. Um, so, on a, if we are to get, uh, that's, that's, that's how, now, another thing that we have using, please keep our formula in mind. Our formula is the an is equal to the a1 okay, plus open brackets n minus one open brackets d. So remember, this is our formula that we have. Now we can use that formula to work backwards. For example, we can be told to, uh, we have this sequence whereby we say our nth term is 19. Sorry, our 19th term is 48 and our common difference is three, okay? Meaning that we can also be told to find the first term. Now they can tell you what is the first term, given the fact that you have the 19th term and then you have the difference. And we can be told now what is our first term, okay? So when we write our rule down, we're using our general rule. Please take note of our rule there. It's, it's what's going to help us to solve most of our equations. So when you have that rule there, when you substitute, we carry on our substitution, A19, which is this, 
Okay, this A19 that we have here is the same as A1 plus N is the 19, 19th term minus the one into brackets the D. They have given us the difference here. What are we finding here? We are finding out which one is the first term, given the fact that our 19th term is 48. That's what we, we look at. Before we answer this, most of these questions, please, we need to analyze through what they're asking us to do. Okay, so when you do the substitution here, when you substitute the 48, okay, we put, remember, A19, they have said it is equivalent to 48. So we substitute and put our 48 there. And then we are saying our D is the three. So which is that? And from there, you can easily get your first term. Someone has got the first term from here. Someone to try to multiply this and then uh, give us the answer there. Please, let's look at our rule. Our rule is our key issue, okay? I've seen engineer Mercy coming on. Benjamin, Benjamin, what have you got as your first term? Benjamin, what have you got it's as your first term? Negative six. Uh -huh. what, what have you here? 18 times three. What have you got? 54. It's 54. So the 54 will be subtracted. And then we will come to our A1 as negative six. Correct. Okay. So meaning your first term in the sequence where a where a 19 is the 19th term you will be able to get the negative six okay so that is how we are solving out our equations that's how we are looking at so we can be given a question in any form you can be told to find the d you can be to be told to find the anything term you can also be told to find the first term, okay? So, okay, unless someone has uh, our, uh, has a question here, before we proceed, any question? Someone having a question of what we have looked at? So that we, we leave, because we are moving systematically so that as we reach ahead there, we shall be able to answer some questions based on this information that we have. Okay? So based on this information of the nth term rule, we can be able to answer some questions that we shall be posed, we shall be given. Any question, any question? Please, if you have a question, please raise it up so that we can answer. Uh, Okay, there was someone who asked, how did we get 48? Okay, someone was asking, how did we get 48? How did we get 48? 48 is in the question, okay? This is a question, eh? it is an example as you see, okay? It's a question. We are saying one, the question is one term of an arithmetic sequence, is it? 48, meaning the 19th term is 48. So this 48 is, has been given, okay? Then the common difference is that, so we are told what is the first term of that given sequence. So this one, for this particular example, the question was given. That is how the 48 comes about. Right? It has been given. So once it is given, you just uh, do the substitution and then you can only find the 48 when they ask you for the 19th term. When they ask for the 19th term, it means you're going to find it out, okay? Any other question that is, a, I would like to know 2020 farm 038, maybe you have to send in your name so that we get to interact 
uh, later. That name is quite too long. Huh? <laughs> All right, any other question? Any other question? Okay. Meaning uh, all, is, all, all is moving on well. Now, as we progress through, someone's asking? Okay. So uh, we've looked at uh, this and uh, let's now come to this point here. I want us to work out this one here based on the information I've given. I think this is our last example as far as this is concerned for this today's class. And the other one uh, will be worked with. So we have two terms of an arithmetic sequence are 21. This is the, the eighth term. Okay, 21 means that the eighth term is 21. And the 27th term is 97. We are finding the rule for the nth term. So what we have here is one. When we write a system, we are going to write a system of three equations. Remember, we are finding the first term here. We are looking at what is the first term in this sequence here. Okay? What is the first term that we have in a sequence where the eighth term is 21 and the 27th term is 97. So we are finding out what is a one in our term. That's what we, that's the task we have ahead. Okay. Now we are saying, we are going to write two equations. Now equation one, okay, okay. Equation one, we are going to use when we are substituting the 27. the 27 for the nth term. Then the second one, we are going to substitute eight. Now, someone might ask, why are we not starting with eight? Remember our difference, we get it with a two minus a one. So therefore, we are starting with eight. We're assuming this is now our a two for the 27. We substitute it with the a one, okay? So we are going to get, this one here, we're going to write two equations based on that. So this is what we have now. So equation one, we are saying for the 27th term is equal to the first term plus n is the 27, okay? Minus the one into brackets the d. Remember, we don't know the d yet. So we cannot substitute anything there. And this will be equivalent to, remember they gave us our 27th term. They give us our 27th term, and our 27th term is 97. So we shall have our A1. And when you subtract this, we shall get 26D. So this is our first equation. Then our second equation is now coming in for the A2, sorry, A, A, A8 is equivalent to a1 plus the 8, which is the n, minus the 1 into to find out what is our a1, and probably what will be our d as well. So we have the two equations. So what do we do? Remember, we said we subtract a2 minus a1. And this is what we are now going to do. We subtract A2 minus the A1. Okay, so it's like we are finding the D, we are finding the difference. We are first finding our D. So when you subtract 27D minus this, minus 7D, we get our 19D. A1 minus A1, we get zero. So that's why we don't see our A1. We are subtracting. Then the 97 minus the 21, we come to. 76. Okay, then from there we get our D by dividing 19 on both sides, and we shall come up with our 4 as the D. 
So we are going to do now a substitution. Remember, we've now got our D, which is our difference. And now this difference is now going to come and help us to get our A1. So if I substitute for equation one, remember the A1 is common. It's a one number, it's a common number. They are not two different numbers because the sequence is one. And in that sequence, we have the A, we have the 27 value. So we go on, we are saying we are substituting, okay? We are substituting this D here in our first equation. So which we shall get, our first equation is this 97, which is for the A27 is equivalent to A1, which we do not know, plus the 26D, which D is four. And we shall get that as when you get this and then you bring it the other side, we shall get our first number as negative, negative seven. That will be the first number that we shall be having. I hope we are on the same page. Please, if you're stuck somewhere, you if somewhere something is confusing you somewhere, raise up the hand, ask. Aha, uh -huh. I beg your pardon on D. Someone is asking. I beg for your pardon on how we got D. So how did we get D? We said, let me move back a little step back. How did we get our D? We created two equations, okay? These two equations are for A8 and then A27. The eighth term is 21, and the 27th term is 97. So we get two equations, one for the eighth term and another one for the 27th term. Then we subtract the two equations. That's how we are coming to that. So we move. We are saying A27 is for the 27th term equals the A1 plus the 27, which is the nth term minus the one into brackets, the D. Remember the D, is the difference. So when you substitute, remember we have our A27, which has been given in our question is 97. Our 97 is equivalent to the A1, which we do not know plus the 26. That is our first equation, equation one. This one here, this is our equation one. Then we come to our equation two. Equation two, we are substituting for eight, A8, okay? A8 will be A1 plus 8 minus 1 D into that, and we get 21 A1 plus that, plus the 7 D. This will be our, first, our second equation. Now remember, in our getting the difference, to get the difference, we get A2 minus A1. To get the difference between those series of numbers, we get a two minus a one, a four minus a three like that. So that is why we subtract these two equations here. Yeah? Subtract these two equations here, there's a subtraction sign. So when you subtract, well, when we subtract, we are saying 27 minus seven D, we come to 19 D. A one minus a one, that is a zero. So meaning the A1 has disappeared. Then the 97 minus the 21, we get the 70. We get our 76, okay? We get 76. So in so doing, when you divide the two, divide by 19, divide by 19, okay? Divide by 19, divide by 19, we shall come to four. Okay. So therefore, our D is equivalent to four. I hope Mildred has seen that, how our D has come about. Our D has come from the subtraction of the two equations to get to our D. Okay. I hope Mildred is there. Do you want to ask? Okay. So meaning we shall get this. So therefore, we are using this D Okay, we are using this D 
to come up with to substitute just substitute with the first whether you use the first equation or the second equation will come the same thing so let's substitute you, you put where where the, we are substituting with this equation the first equation you can also use the second equation to see if you come with the same thing but i believe you come with, come so when you do the substitution you shall say o plus the a1 which is that and then when you divide and then you subtract this side and then subtract this other side you come to seven minus seven okay minus seven so class uh, so if minus seven is a uh -huh, now someone was finally asking, now what is our A2? Who can give us our A2? We have our differences for, and the first term is, if the first term is negative seven, okay? Your first term is negative seven, and the difference is four. Who can finally give us what our second term will be? For the close, as we close our class, who will give us, what will be the second term? You have the difference? and you have your negative four. Uh -huh. someone, to, someone to give us that. Mm. Isaiah? Yes, sir. Are you giving us the second term? I'm sorry, I'm just online. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Yes, George. What will your second term be? Uh, Josh? Negative, negative three. Josh? Negative three. Negative. It will be supposed to be my, it's supposed to be four. Okay. Yes, Akim. Akim? No, I was also giving negative oh, three. Okay. Negative three, thank you. So as long as you have your D and you have your first term, you just use that one there to uh, add on. So remember, as we finish, Our, I would like us that as we thought of things. So our Hello. Hello. Yes, 